Hello, hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to another video on my channel. For this week's video, we're going to be testing out a newly released addition to the High Smile collection. If you haven't seen it already, the product in question is the Gloss Stick Tooth Gloss. This is one that I have been seeing all over my TikTok, my Instagram. Obviously, haven't we all, like, whenever they bring out a new product, it just literally just the ads, the ads, the ads, the ads. So I thought I would test it out for you guys today. I know you guys like seeing these types of videos, so I thought, give the people what they want. Saying that, I have seen some of your comments about how you think that sometimes when I've done these videos in the past that the pictures are edited or like my skin tone in one picture looks different to another one. Yes, that's maybe because I've been using it for like over a week, for example. And in the first picture, I have makeup. I'm stood in the window at like two o'clock and then five days later, I'm stood in the window. I don't have makeup, it's two o'clock, but it's a different weather situation. Makes the pictures look different. Maybe the angles are slightly different. You know, they might think there's a filter on this one. If I do it in front of my ring light, sometimes my teeth look whiter than they actually are. So I chose to test this product in particular because it gives you like an almost instant result. Just want to put it out there as well for some of the people in the comments that have highlighted this to me. This isn't like a long-term fix for teeth whitening and that is 100% true. These are temporary fixes only. So when I looked into this product in particular, it is one of those that gives you the instant look of whiter teeth and then it just says apply as and when. That's it. So dry your teeth, dab it as evenly as you can onto your teeth, close your mouth and let it sort of the product distribute evenly. It doesn't say whether or not to rub it away, it doesn't say to leave it on for a certain amount of time it literally just says reapply as and when you want to use it so that's just what we're going to do and in the spirit of what i've done in my foundation video so you can do like a side by side comparison i'm only going to be doing one side of my teeth to start off with <laughs> that's why my lips are looking a little bit like 2008 foundation lips is because i've tried to wipe it off the best i can but i have no lip product on because i feel like this is going to get messy before we jump in, if you haven't already, make sure you follow me on my socials. Links will be on the screen as well as subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Also as well, if you notice randomly, if some watermarks come up on the screen with my name on them, this is because in the past, a certain company has reused my content without asking my permission or giving me any credit so i'm just trying to stop that that's all that is just trying to protect myself and the content here okay so first of all this is what the packaging for the gloss stick looks like very beautiful iridescent packaging i know you love that word on my channel when i use it i feel like for the type of product that this is and also the pictures that i've seen of the actual product inside it's a very good representation of this collection maybe or product in general it just you'll see what i mean in a sec look do you see what i mean then look at the product inside beautiful iridescent so i picked this up of the high smile website for 16 pounds i have seen in the past they do have sales on so if you are maybe thinking or oh, i want to try this out for myself but don't want to pay full price for something you don't know 100 work then keep your eye out for those sales because every time i've been on there to purchase products in the past there has been a sale on so this is the instant whitening wand pearlescent tooth gloss designed to make your teeth instant Instantly whiter and brighter for a picture perfect glow. So similar to a lip gloss, it says how does this work, which is something I think everybody wants to know. Similar to a lip gloss, a tooth gloss works in the same way as reflecting light to make your teeth appear, keyword there is appear, whiter and give your smile the glow it deserves. So that's basically it, as I've said and highlighted and other people have highlighted for me in the past, this is not a long term fix, okay? Sorry, excuse my month old nails. Wowie. I love that sound. So this is what the wand is looking like. Very cute, almost gives me fairy tale energy. Dabbing that across the back of my hand just as a tester. So this is a doe foot applicator. However, it is not like a brush. It's like a firm silicone shape. This would almost be cute as a lip gloss, you know? But yeah, it just reflects all of that light, as you can see. The texture of this product is very sticky, so I'm guessing it just leaves like a coat or a film on your teeth, I guess, to keep it on there. So to get up nice, close and personal, my teeth are day to day are pretty good. Obviously, I am a normal person. I drink loads of coffee. I do also have a very real and very serious Pepsi Max addiction. Hi, my name is Aish and I'm addicted to Pepsi Max. And when I'm drinking several cans of it when I'm at work day to day, um, I don't always get a chance to like rinse my mouth or chew gum in between and stuff like that. So it does have that time where it does sit on my teeth. And I know that can damage your teeth and it can dull your teeth over time. I'm fully aware of this. You do not need to tell me off because I already tell myself off for doing this when so trying harder to either cut down or be a bit more careful you know drinking with straws and all that kind of thing but as you can see from face value especially with my ring light my teeth look pretty white which is kind of annoying but you can see the drastic change at the back so I'll be interested to see what it can do for those so I think that I am going to apply it to like this side of my teeth 
So it says first of all that you need to dry your teeth as best as possible. I'm not really sure how you're supposed to do that, so I'm just gonna give them a little roll. This is harder than it looks, everyone. I can't tell if I've done that right or not. So I've applied some of that product to this half of my top layer of teeth. I feel like I'm talking like this because I'm scared to put my mouth down. It says to close your mouth to let it evenly distribute over your teeth. I don't know. Do I apply enough? It says just apply as and when. Let's see what that one at the back. Uh, no, it still looks like gummy to me. It's after weird texture on that side of my teeth as well. It's annoying. I wish you could see what I'm seeing this mirror in front of me because it looks completely different to what I'm seeing in the viewfinder. I wouldn't necessarily say that it made them look whiter. What I'll do is I might refilm this segment of the video again, but in natural lighting because it may just be that this whole setup is not doing justice what I'm seeing in front of me versus what you're seeing. The texture on my teeth is a little bit weird though. It feels like you've drank or ate something really sugary and it leaves that like fluffy film on your teeth. That is the texture I'm feeling right now. I wouldn't necessarily say that it made my teeth look whiter or anything, especially those ones at the back. Like I don't think there's any hope for those other than removal and disposal. I really don't feel like it made much of a difference. I'm probably gonna get so much hate from this being like, your back teeth are disgusting. Yeah, I know they are, okay, I know. See so yeah, what I'm gonna do to try and make this a little bit more of a test, refill this in natural light, slot it into here, and then we'll talk again. Okay, so I'm next door in my bedroom. See whether or not this lighting that I have going on makes a difference. My teeth are looking a little bit more normal now. My teeth still look all again at the back. I'm not seeing anything. One thing I can tell you for free is that it's nice and sticky. It's so sticky, it just... I'm not buying it. Well, I mean, I have, it's too late now, but I think if this was actually like a brush wand rather than just like a silicone dome, it might actually have been easier to apply because it could get really into the nooks and crannies of your teeth rather than just sort of sliding off them and bouncing off them. I wouldn't say this is the easiest thing I've ever applied. I much prefer some of the other products that they've had in their collection of products than this right now. I can't tell if it's me or if it's the product that's not doing this right, but something is not going well here. <laughs> but a hair's even stuck to it as well. I don't know how you could go like your day walking around and just touching it up wearing this stuff on your teeth. I feel like I'm having better luck rubbing it into my teeth than actually applying it with this dome thing. The only thing that I also know is that it's making a nice lip gloss. <laughs> I'm gonna give that a no for a minute. So I'm back now after testing it in another location. As you saw, I had loads of trouble trying to get it onto my teeth. If anything, not using the applicator that they provide you was better just to really get even coverage all over. I wouldn't say it really did a lot for me. It also left a very weird feeling on my teeth. The idea of using this on the go, like day to day, multiple times a day, is just a no from me. Like, I'm really sorry, but it's true. I just, in my head, I've tried quite a few of their different products and I just feel like there are other products that would be so much better for for that like on the go teeth whitening experience that they're offering you. I just, I just didn't like it. I didn't enjoy it. It wasn't for me. You know, literally all it is is apply a thin layer in long strokes with the brush, close your mouth and smooth it over. I'm guessing either with your top and bottom lip on the inside like this. I'd much prefer to do it with my finger, but it just, it wasn't it for me. So that is it for this week's video guys, testing out the new High Smile Gloss Stick Tooth Gloss. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up so I know it really helps me out a lot. Links will be to the High Smile website in case you want to try out any of their other products. I would highly recommend you look at some of those because I did actually really enjoy using a lot of the other ones rather than this one this time. Just my personal opinion. Links will be on the screen in case you want to follow me on my socials as well as the big subscribe button down below. It's always there. Hit it if you haven't already. Once again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time time for another video. Bye guys. Ah, how'd I get this off my teeth?